Big Howdy, welcome back to the channel. So, some frequent questions that I see online are how do I get into content creation? What gear do I use? Where do I start? What do I do? What do I buy? Do I buy the most expensive camera? Do I buy the cheapest camera? So today, I'm going to detail the essentials of my gear and my setup and kind of give you a baseline or a guideline of where you could go and how you could start all for under 1000 Now I know when most people hear that number, Cody, $1,000 is a lot. I don't particularly have that. And I totally get that. I know money's tight for a lot of people. This is more geared toward the people who are really serious about diving deep in the content creation, who are ready to do this for the long term, who are ready to really stick this out and not give up after a month because, well, you only hit like 15 subscribers. But I'm also going to show you some cool little tips and tricks that I found along the way and pass them along to you on a couple of things of how we can alleviate the potential burden of the total cost of everything and help you maybe piece out your sets over time. You don't have to buy anything on this list. Maybe you in particular have found a setup that's much cheaper, that works better for you, that executes the same kind of quality. One of the biggest standards right now in content creation is 1080p. Most people really can't even tell the difference between 4K and 1080p. The human eye doesn't really register that. Most people can't tell the difference between between 4 and 6k and above. So let's jump straight into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first off, we're going to start with the bulk of the cost. And that really comes down to the camera right? I'm currently using the Sony ZV-1 as you hear, see here on screen. Now, the Sony ZV-1 is listed at $749.99 or $62.50 a month if you're approved for the Best Buy credit card. Now, I went this route, but I didn't pay $749. Let's take a look. I went the open box route. It didn't make sense. Now, I got extremely lucky. I went with the open box excellent quality and paid around $621.99. I thankfully was approved at 0% interest. I thankfully was approved Approved at 0% interest for 12 months. In a couple days, I'm making my last payment on this camera and it's completely paid off. This camera is in excellent mint condition. It works fine and there's no issues. My understanding was the person who bought this camera only had it for a day or two, decided they didn't want it and brought it back. A brand new camera that was opened at open box pricing. I saved over $100. I was approved for 0%. Now I can't guarantee anyone's gonna get approved for 0% financing, but it definitely is an option to get you there if you do wanna take your content to the next level. So that's the Sony ZV-1. It films in both 4K and 1080p. And then I'm gonna show you a lens attachment that you can get for the Sony ZV-1 in just a moment. Now, let's talk lighting. Lighting is critical. And I myself, as someone in past videos who've had really bad lighting and didn't get it right on the first try, I found something here that actually makes sense and is well affordable. The Logitech Litra Glow for creators. Now I have two of these at $59.99 a piece. I definitely recommend getting two. That way you have light on both sides of you. There's no shadows, there's no darkness. You're fully lit all around. Also, what's really cool is you can actually pull up software for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up for you now. All right, awesome. So as you can see, we now have the Litra Glows up here ready to go. So I have mine at full bright, but you can also dim them or you can turn them all the way off or you can go ahead and turn them all the way up. They also have a warm feature too. So maybe you wanna go a little bit warmer or maybe you wanna go very cold and very bright or maybe you want them to be right about there the really cool thing is here is that you do have freedom to use these it's one of the biggest things that drew me to these lights is that i get to control the primary aspects of the light warm to cold brightness dim soft they also come with soft light protectors which is great so the light isn't too harsh on you and then you can control it these really are worth the money and at 60 dollars a piece i know that may sound a little bit expensive but let me show you two things that you can do to help offset the cost a little bit and make purchasing a little bit easier. So as you see here, the Litra Glow is at $59.99. And it does come with this stand, and I don't recommend using the stand at all. If you have a tripod, I would definitely use that. But if you have to use this, definitely make it work. Now, here's something really cool that many most people don't know. You can actually use Klarna. And the cool thing about Klarna is, is that you can make four interest-free payments every two weeks. So that's about two months of interest-free financing. So every time you get paid, a payment would come out for Klarna. Now, that's one option that you have. And another really cool one here, 
is that when you go to b &H Photo, and by you, none of this is sponsored, none of them have reached out to me, I'm not affiliated to them in any way. When you go to b &H, what you can also do is when you go and you view them in the cart, and then you see PayPal down here. Now, most people think, well, Cody, that's just an option to pay with my PayPal. Yes, but PayPal also has other options that maybe you didn't know about. And you scroll down to the bottom, it actually gives you two ways to pay. You can do PayPal credit, which if you're approved for, or you can do PayPal 4, which is the same thing as Klarna. Every two weeks, you make interest-free payments. This one starts at $28 every two weeks, and they're interest-free. So at 0%, you can help spread out the payment and alleviate dropping the entire 160 or 120 all in one shot. And you can break it up over the course of two months, which is really great. And that's what I did for both of these. That's what I did for the majority of the items that I bought. If I could Klarna or Afterpay or QuadPay or Sezzle it or PayPal or anything else that I could do to interest-free payments these, I did. Now let's talk about microphones. Audio is one of the biggest components that you need. You want your audio to sound crisp, clear, concise. You want the audience to be able to understand you. You don't want it to be cackly. You don't want to be broken up and staticky and you're having to rearrange your mic and you have to hold it inside of your mouth to talk. You want to be able to just talk into the mic and not have any issues. I definitely recommend the Rode video mic that I'm looking at here now. This is the mic that I'm currently using that actually on top of my camera at the moment and again the cool thing with this you can paypal for it so you don't have to drop the entire 89 all at the same time this mic works fantastic and it's phantom powered which means you can plug it straight into the camera and it'll run off the camera's battery now if you're concerned cody well wait isn't that double draining my battery i'm gonna go ahead and show you a really cool power sourcing method that helps alleviate that if you're filming inside of a home or a studio or if you're anywhere where there's a power outlet i would definitely recommend picking up a good shotgun mic Let's talk lenses. A lot of people get stressed out when they see the cost of a lens and there's so many different options going on. Some lenses range from a couple hundred dollars all the way up to like five grand. And you're trying to figure out what's the best lens for me. One of the best things that I strongly recommend everyone get, if you get the Sony ZV-1, I recommend getting the Ulanzi 2-in-1 ultra wide and macro lens. It works wonders. The ultra wide is what you're seeing on me right now. You're seeing me having adjusted settings, but I only use the ultra wide. That way I can get a pretty good shot in. But I do have the macro lens right underneath. And it comes with an attachment and it screws right on. Also, you can unscrew the ultra wide if you want to get those really close up macro shots. Say you're doing B-roll of coffee dripping, but you don't want it to sh have an ultra wide on and get the entire field of view. You can detach the ultra wide, use the macro, and get real close up shots of the coffee dripping out of the coffee maker or the Keurig. Or maybe you're pouring it in typically. Having the telephoto lens the macro and the ultra wide gives you three perspectives to shoot from and coming in for a used option at $34.95 again you can PayPal for this and spread the payments out wish I would have known this before I paid the entire $50 to buy it off Amazon but that's why I'm passing this off on to you. You're crazy if you buy this camera and you don't get the two-in-one lens combo because now you have three lenses. So for an affordable option like this, it's essential that you get this with the Sony ZV-1. Let's talk tripods. Tripods are critical. Maybe you want to go out and you want to vlog around the city. Maybe there's this really cool place that you want to go to, but you don't want to hold your camera arm's length the entire time. Maybe there's no flat surface for you to set your camera on. Maybe the surface you're trying to set your camera on is tilted. Definitely recommend the Gorilla tripod. It's actually what's holding one of my lights here right now because I ended up buying another clamp tripod or a clamp stand to attach my desk. Having the Joby tripod is essential because it can wrap around trees, it can wrap around bars, it can wrap around other tripods, and it's good, flexible. Maybe you don't want a tripod that just stands straight up and you can't adjust the angle. With this, it also has a ball head on it, so I can bend the legs, I can adjust the tripod head, I can get the shot that I need, the angle that I need, or I can stand it straight up. Having a tripod is essential. A lot of this is strictly baseline. I'm not telling you to buy any of this. I'm not affiliated. I'm not sponsored. I don't get anything from this if you buy these products. I just wanted to showcase the items that I'm using to help you understand where you can, what you can get for what your money's worth and what your options are if you do want to dive deep into creating. Now, last but certainly not least, the dummy battery. This is critical and I wish I would have known about this sooner. So when you're filming, camera drains a lot of battery really fast and it's really annoying when you're in the middle of a shot and your camera dies and you have to swap batteries and you have to pick up where you left off and then you gotta wait for the batteries to charge and yada 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 the dummy battery you're seeing here connects via usb 
which is great. So you can connect it into an adapter, into a wall socket, straight into your PC, into a USB adapter hub, which I have here. I have another USB adapter hub to my left, and then I can move it around and the camera will stay plugged in indefinitely because now the camera believes that there's a fully charged battery in there at all times. The camera will not shut off. So if you're looking to stream, if you're looking to YouTube, maybe make TikToks, if you're looking to make a documentary, anything like that, you have the power to keep going all day, every day. And it's awesome. So that's it for me here, ladies and gentlemen. This is how to build an entire creator kit for under $1,000, finance the majority of it at 0%. Upon approval, of course, I can't guarantee that anyone will be approved. But if you are looking to get serious into content creation, if you are looking to get serious into the filmmaking space, YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, anything like that, I would definitely recommend using this guide as a baseline. I know when I was first trying to start out, some creators ignore the question, some creators don't ignore the question. I'm here to just give you give you a guideline. But this is the majority of the essential gears that I use. And if you like this video, please leave a like. I would really appreciate that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have any of this gear? Are you looking to buy this gear? Or do you not care at all? I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. And you take care.